It's that time of year again, a call to action to raise monetary and food donations for our neighbors in need. This morning, we're learning more about the Feed Our Valley campaign with Second Harvest Food Bank. Michael Iberis. Michael's always good to see you. Good morning, Melina. Now, this is such a great moment every year where we all just join together in efforts to fight hunger in our valley. But we've been doing this for 17 years now. Let's go back. How much have we been able to, you know, impact the valley in this way? Well, Feed Our Valley uh, has been a blessing for the people of Mahoney Valley that are in need. There's no question about that. Yeah. We've been able, you, we've been able together to raise enough money to provide seven million meals mm. over the 16 years that we've been that we've been in operation with Feed Our Valley. So the message has gotten out. Yes. People know what we do. People know that there's that there's people out there that are in need. They're, they're in their community. They know them. They're their neighbors, their friends, people at their church. So everybody knows that there is a need out there. The 160 pantries that we support, those people all know. So uh, people in the community know what's going on. The, the names change, the faces change, and the people that are coming uh, for food. But it's still the, the need is still out there. How great is the need? What did you see after the pandemic? Well, COVID brought on obviously uh, a tremendous amount more people mm -hmm. coming to the uh, to the pantries now we've got a, a different situation a different challenge and that's the inflation that's going on because people are really struggling with that and a lot of seniors we see coming to a pantry are saying look i'm sorry i'm here i don't want to be here it's the first time i've ever come to a pantry but i need some help yeah. because we just can't make ends meet uh, so that's the situation that we're, that we're in right now so tell us how can we help well, our friends at Sparkle, as usual, are helping us out this year. They're doing the, uh, the food drives. So when you walk into your Sparkle, you'll see the big bins for Second Harvest Food Bank. And th this community is incredibly, incredibly generous. Those bins get filled up. Sometimes we go three and four times a week to a Sparkle market to pick it up because they're overflowing. Oh, wow. It's incredible. <laughs> That's people amazing. Are, people are amazing in yeah. this town. They really are. When they know there's a need, they want to help. And what are we looking for? Non-perishable items, right? We are. We are. The basics, the peanut butter, the, uh, the mac and cheese, uh, the, the things that people, cereal, th those are things that staples that, that people see in their cupboard that, that they want to see, especially if there's kids in the, in the home. Yeah, and we can also donate year-round on their website, Second Harvest Food Bank, Mahoning Valley's website. How far does that dollar stretch? I know years ago when I first started here, we would talk about, you know, how far that dollar can go, but inflation is real. Did that change a little bit? It has. With the day that, uh, the days that you're talking about, a few years back, we were able to, to, with the food that we can secure, we were able to produce seven meals for a dollar. Now it's five meals for a dollar wow. with inflation. So it, it's affected all of us. There's no yes. question. All right, so tell us, where can we go to learn more about the Feed Our Valley campaign? Give us that website so we can donate. And are all the Sparkle locations uh, participating in our valley? My understanding is that they are all, all participating in Columbiana, Mahoning, and Trumbull County. Excellent. All right, so before we let you go, give us that website. It's Second Harvest, Mahoning Valley, secondharvest.org. All right, so make sure you donate at your local Sparkle or visit their website to donate uh, monetarily. And those items that they're looking for are non-perishable items. So your dry foods and, you know, items that will last a while. Michael Abiris with Second Harvest Food Bank. Thank you so much for Thanks. joining us. And we're okay. excited to join you in this effort again for the